the boat show at Miami per lo Strictly Sail. The boat show at the Miami Strictly Sail, a fair dedicated entirely to sailboats. What's going on in the market? Well, the catamarans win. Many models and above all many people looking to buy this type of boat that gives plenty of room on board. Here we are, close to the Caribbean, and the Caribbean is truly an ideal area to sail aboard two hulls. Lagoon 52S, the design of Van Petekem, Laura Prevost, just over 15 meters, four versions from four to even six cabins. A 15 meter boat is quite big, but look at that feeling of space, of volume. This is the trump card of catamarans. You can sail with many people and still sail comfortably. We are in one of the four cabins of this 52S. S would be for sport. It's a version with a little bit more canvas and it does not have the flying bridge, as 52 presented some time ago. These dimensions are difficult to obtain on a mono hull of the same length. A large bed, which seems like it could be one from your home. A separate bathroom with separate shower room and an area dedicated to the cabinets. This is the owner's cabin, a separate bathroom, separate shower, and above all, a large volume. Look at how much space. Fontaine Pajot is one of the classic brands that have been involved in cruising catamarans. One of the first to mass produce catamarans, always with a clear idea, to make them light to preserve the benefits that are typical of these boats. Here we are in the owner's cabin of the Lucia 40, 12 meters in length overall. Look at how much space. Up forward, a bathroom with a separate shower room. Here, many closets and here, a large bed. This Lucia 40 is available in two versions, three cabins, i.e. the owner and two cabins on a boat, or four cabins, two cabins for each hull. There is everything for a great cruise, large fridges, kitchen, space on a 40-foot mono hull. You really could not have the same comforts. Behind me, a small novelty, Italia Yachts, an Italian shipyard has brought two boats. For many years, a made-in-Italy sailing product has not been seen in these parts. Italia 9.98 is the smallest boat by Italia Yachts. It's also the only pure racing model, to the point that it won the world title class ORC. The design is Matteo Polli. The cockpit is that of a racing boat with a beautiful wheel. The aggressive intentions are perceived almost by the fact that the rudder is quite far forward. This means having the blade well under the hull, always sufficiently immersed in water. It is built of glass E, made into sandwich, with carbon structures. Here we are in the boat. As you can see, it's not a boat where the interiors have been forgotten, just because it's a racing boat. There are two large double beds, the kitchen, the fridge, the chart table. You can leave for your voyage. Marlow Hunter 47, a boat that best interprets the teaching of the US market. A solid mono hull is especially comfortable, with large spaces, large beds, lots of storage space, a powerful engine, a generator of course, if necessary, air conditioning. Hunter is a well-known brand in this market that interprets with this 2016 model, a mix of innovation but also classic styles. The cockpit is more intimate than those we are used to on the Mediterranean boats, but this doesn't mean that it doesn't have the amenities and particulars that many need, especially in the Atlantic navigation, as the two rear benches where the watchman can sit comfortably and look forward under the autopilot. The wheelhouse is in the raised position so that the helmsman can see beyond the deckhouse, and also the wheel can be slid from side to side to steer from the most comfortable position. 
layout degli interni molto particolare. Non ci the sono interior layout is quite unique. There are no traditional aft cabins. Here we are in the living area, a dining area, a sitting room and large kitchen. The three double cabins and two bathrooms are forward. Agli americani sappiamo piace molto il freddo. Americans we know really like the cold and there is a large assortment of refrigerators, a mini fridge, an ice maker and a double door fridge. Eccoci in quella che possiamo chiamare un'autentica Here we are in what we can call a true sleeping area. There are two large double beds, two very large bunk beds and a separate shower cubicle. J Boats is a brand that all sailors know. J stands for Johnston, the innovator of the J24, the boat in which everyone sooner or later has gone on board and have learned something. We are on the J122, the latest in the 12 meter size cruiser racer. A hull all in all traditional, not too large, well built with the infusion technique. The layout is available in two versions, two cabins and two bathrooms, or three cabins in a bathroom. The cockpit is a compromise between the need to conduct the boat while racing so you can continuously adjust the sails and the desire to do some cruising while sitting comfortably with friends. The carbon mast is one of those things in this boat that will show the will to run strong. First 35 Carbon Edition. Allowed. First 35 Carbon Edition, the response to the French yard Beneteau in the world of small racing cruising crafts. A little less than 11 meters, the hull designed by Far Yacht Design, interiors from Milan's Nauta Design. Retractable bow sprit on the bow, carbon mast, shrouds at the sides with the Quarterata cross and Genova with partial covering are the usual recipe for a racer who has already won many regattas. It's interesting the approach chosen for the wheel. On these small boats, having two wheels is very often invasive for the movement on board. But here we have one wheel with three positions. The helmsman can choose the center, left or right. We are on a boat designed for racing, but does not lack the necessities for the crews of four or even six people. Under here, there is a big storage locker where the sails and even the deflated dinghy can be stored. Inside First 35, there is a nice cabin at the bow with a rather large bed aft cabin with very comfortable bed, a full kitchen with a large capacity well refrigerator, a chart table, not exactly for the maps because it contains a computer station and not for actual holders. In the race, we all know, there are many programs that assist boaters. Behind me, a bathroom. Twelve meters is an important size in the world of cruising salvos. It is the first measure in which you manage to have three cabins and two bathrooms, creating a spacious interior, comfortable, where you don't feel constricted. Oceanus 41 is the interpretation of this theme by Benetton, and also the first boat of a new route for Oceanus. The hull design is from Fino Conk Studio, and the interior is of Nauta Design. The design of this boat is made with great attention to habitability. It is a cruising boat, not only inside, where in reality, especially in the Mediterranean, is almost only for sleep, but mainly in the cockpit, a very large cockpit, very comfortable. Mediterraneo Caraibi, tanta vita all'aria aperta. Mediterranean Caribbean, so much outdoor living. The cockpits have changed radically over the last 15 years. From indoor spaces, protected, they have become rather open places where they interact with the sea. 
From the aft part with a large swimming platform, lots of space for the helmsman to move, you can raise its benches. You can see ahead, unperturbed, up to a table that dominates a little the center of the cockpit. But that has many additional functions, to allow you to have meals in the large bimini, also to serve as footrests as the reference point when the boat sails and is at an angle. On the table, a locker for bottles and a refrigerator. For the first time, for a boat of this size, there is a high degree of customization offered. Those choices, which are usually only for owners of large vessels to decide upon, are also available here. A little bit like what is happening with cars, many interior versions, large variety of upholsteries, colors, even for the essences of woods. The layout of the interior is available in four versions. Layouts of the interior is available in four versions, from two cabins and two bathrooms to three cabins and two bathrooms with different arrangements. Vessel owners can choose what they prefer according to their habits. Only the kitchen area remains the same for all four versions.